On there folks, Earthmaster here jumping in real quick on the live stream here for a quick update video on this Wednesday night, last day of March, 331, uh, 2021 is the date, about 8.40 p.m. West Coast time here. The latest quake on the globe is a 4.9 out here in the Western Pacific. The Pacific Ring of Fire kind of showing a little bit of activity out there. Um, it's been relatively quiet over the past 48 hours or so. We're starting to see a little increase in earthquake activity um, as expected in that region. Uh, taking a look at the USGS map here from the, from the uh, well, over the last 24 hours or so shows that earthquake activity out there south of the uh, uh, Guam area. You can see a uh, 5.2 and a 4.9 within this region of the Mariana Trench region little area where we've seen uh well in the past some pretty good sized earthquakes today though just a little bit of uh, seismic activity there in the moderate range movement still continuing out here along the west coast looking over here uh, on the uh, north american continent shows the activity continuing down there south of the border of course the uh border means nothing when it comes to uh, geology and and earthquakes there the plate boundaries and the extensional fault systems there do. Uh, borders mean absolutely nothing, so erase that uh, border right there. Looking at the whole plate boundary there shows the uh, extent, extension of the uh, southern part of the San Andreas Fault there, showing a couple uh, earthquakes there. 4.8 was the largest magnitude there in this region, followed up by a couple uh, notable aftershocks there in the 2.5 and the 3.1 range south of the Mexicali Baja area south of the Salton Sea area. We're looking at a couple of small microquakes there in the uh, Brawley seismic zone uh, along the sleeping giant of the San Andreas Fault. Relatively quiet for now. No doubt that will change in the near future. Uh, looking up here to the north, Ridgecrest area, Nevada area. Still seeing just a little bit of earthquake activity out there. I do want to pull up the trimmer map over the last day. This uh, activity was updated at about 6.30 today. Still shows the seismic activity along the northern or the southern part of the Cascadia subduction zone. This is the uh, trimmer being reported. 436, 436 epicenters of trimmer basically along the southern part of the, the uh, Cascadia. A little bit of activity up there around the Olympia region, but uh, most of it confined there into northern California. And it's pretty widespread, let me tell you. Looking back over the last 72 hours or so, we'll show the uh, dynamics of this uh, movement along the Cascadia subduction zone. Definitely uh, seen some, um, some significant trimmer in the Cascadia along the uh, pretty much the entire section there. So be on guard out there for this uh, movement. Uh, what else we got here, folks? There hasn't been a whole lot of movement since the uh, activity earlier. A uh, little bit of deep movement along the Peru Chile Trench subduction zone here, inland uh, into Bolivia area and the Chile region. Showing some deep movement there, 205 kilometers and 131 kilometers there in the Chile area. Uh, so, some uh, definitely some subduction zone there, earthquake activity happening. Uh, we're still kind of looking up here towards the northwest here. In the uh, this section of the Pacific Ring of Fire, it's been relatively quiet over the last couple of days. I'm sure, no doubt, this will potentially show some heightened seismic activity now that we're seeing a little increase down here to the south. Uh, just a matter of time before we get that movement up there and things start to quiet down a little bit along the western uh, coast there of the uh, North American continent. All right, folks, have a good night. Just want to jump in with a real quick update again. Um, Still some activity going on there in the uh, northern part of uh, California, as I mentioned there with the trimmer. Yellowstone National Park looks kind of looks like it's quieting down a little bit there. Uh, as far as the live seismographs go, I don't see a whole lot of um, activity popping off there. Although in Hawaii, that is not the case, or that's definitely not the case as far as quiet activity goes. We're seeing significant uh Earthquake swarming continuing there at the uh, Leah Permanent Station there around the Mono Loa area. You can see that seismic activity there popping off uh, on the live seismograph station. A couple earthquakes, small earthquakes there 
along the Mendocino Coast. Yellowstone National Park kind of dying down a little bit when it comes to the seismic activity that we've been looking at uh, over the past couple days. So, all right, folks, have a good night. Please stay safe out there. It's a beautiful night out there. Uh, we're looking at 87 degrees tomorrow. Oh my gosh, oh, 87 degrees. Woohoo! What am I going to do? 87 degrees. All right, folks, catch you later. Peace out.